Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Now, Wizards of the Coast Europe have been very good to us again. They've given us a selection of boosties from the new boosties. set. Boosties! We love boosties. Again, say hello to the wife, everyone. She's here. So we're going to start with the... The coolest one. The biggest box. Sweet. Uh, the dungeon theme booster. So theme boosters, people who don't know, you get uh, 35 cards themed around a certain set. I believe with this one, you add 25 lands to start building a 60 card deck. Oh, Should just be ready to go. So that'll um, be a cool one. I think this one's pretty new. I've seen theme boosters before. Have they been? Because obviously I don't see uh, theme boosters. I haven't. Theme seen. boosters have been around for a while. They, they had them in uh, like the, last time we went back to Ravnica. Like that, there, there were theme sets with guilds, and with this one they seem to be themed around the dungeons. Maybe that. Maybe maybe there's a dragons themed one as well. But um, Ooh, this one's. Yeah, this we'll one. open this one up. It'll be cool. We'll see what we get. This is what then the draft booster. This is the old classic. You know you love it. Uh, Use this if you want to draft. Uh, but if you just want to sit back and crack some packs, then we have the... Set Boosty! Set Booster. I didn't realize I'm realizing. Set Booster. Set Boosty! 12 cards, but there can be cards on the list, and I think over a box or so, the the, the, the chances of getting a rares are pretty similar. And then, comparable. this is the one I'm excited about the most. Then, yes, then we have the... Collector Boosty. Collector Booster. 15, Silver! 15 oh, cards of shininess. Silver so, as well. We Silver. both have a couple of packs each. We have, we have, one, we have this one big lad here. Then we're going to open two of these each, two of these each, and then two of the shiny ones each. So with that, let's jump in. We're going to start with the theme booster. It's a big chunker. We like it. All right. Would you like to open this? I would like it. And there we go. And crack on. All right. Get it out. Ooh. Right, let's see what we have. Cardboard. I'll throw it back I'm there. not cleaning that up. I will clean that up. All right. Should we open it? Yes. All right. So a lot of these cards I haven't seen yet. Future us. So these are all themed around the dungeon. So we have Fate Traversal, we have Dungeon Crawler. Let's have a look through, see what kind of... I think it comes with at least one rare, so we have Dungeon Crawler. Die, Venture into the Dungeon. Into dungeon. What is Venture into the Dungeon, Daniel? So, so, huh, so let's have a look <laughs> if they have a dungeon. So at the back we have, oh. ah, perfect, we have I literally two am... of our dungeons. I believe they just sit in the command zone, sit, um, I'm doing this as a campaign, this as a D&D oh, campaign. Oh, you're very good. Mm -hmm. And basically, uh, when you venture, each time a card says venture into the dungeon, you move into the first room, and then it says adventure again, you can move into another room, and you keep going through, and then each room has its own different effect, like the oubliette. This, this looks, actually looks like a pretty good, pretty solid, so it's almost like a pre-constructed deck. Well, it's just something to get you a start. Ooh, oh. and we have a rare, which is the treasure chest. Oh, Daniel, how do you feel about rolling like D20s? I love rolling a D20. I'm assuming in the in the um, previous kits is going to get a, 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 so. a normal spin down rather than just I, this one. Because in theory, in theory, it's technically possible to game the system. Although, is it, if, it's not... if you can do that, I think you deserve... Hold on. Do we have a D20? We have, yes, we have many D20s. You, no, it's in like actual D20s. Yes, we have actual, 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 actual D20s. There's one right there. There is one D there, yes. Cool, so yeah, this was the... So all the rares, is it treasure chest? There's, there's just this one rare. There's, hold on, there was, there's, there's, there's just this one rare, but it looks like a pretty decent well, not good. theme deck. You just add in, you, yeah, as I said, add in some lands, and in this one, add in some swans and planes, and you have start of a deck. So yeah, you can venture into your dungeon oh, straight there away. Was, there was there was a legendary. Let's look at the legendary. Oh hold on, there's another. There's, there's another, another dungeon, dungeon of the Mad Mage. Oh how exciting! Well, that's, yeah, it's a nice kind of like. introduction to the dungeons. Um, awesome. So okay. now. I'm gonna start with the draft booster because this is this is yeah, what the, draft the, the I mean I know people are like oh give us the collector booster first I'm like I'll get there patience so we're gonna sort of go through the we're just gonna go through the commons very good commons polymorph you say oh I love it another effect oh, I hate beholders yes. Hate, Ooh. hate a beholder. What's this one? It's uh, choose one. Each opponent sacrifice an enchantment, or creature you control can menace intensive. Well, that's not bad for limited. Mm. Yeah, common six. Oh, it. an actual owlbear! The actual owlbear! <laughs> that's what I'm excited by. Five mana, four four trample that ends each beast draws a card. That's pretty good. I'm, I'm, I'm cool with that. Displace a beast. Oh, that's exciting. Oh, portable hole. Get in the hole. Yet in the hole. I think uh, so. This is uh, there was a similar card. There's an, another artifact that did something like this with mana value three or less. Oh, there's a tiefling warlock. I love tieflings. Mm -hmm. So what does this do? Dark one's own luck. Whenever you roll one or more dice, 
Faride, oh, Faride is like a Persian name, actually. Faride, devil's chosen, gets flying a menace until end of turn. If any of those results were 10 or higher, draw a card. You know what? I like that. That's kind of good. And then the rare, oh, Daniel, you're going to get excited by this. Skeletal swarming. It's like spider swarming. Kind of. Each skeleton you control has trample, attacks you to combat if is it able. in any way like spider spawn? No, it's not. Each <laughs> skeleton you control has trample, attacks, and each combat if able, other, and gets. A zero plus X, oh, sorry, but X plus zero in turn, which is the number of skeletons you can drop. We're going to end step. Create a tapped one more skeleton creature token. If a, if a creature died this turn, create two tokens instead. That's not bad. It just that's keeps right. going. It just gets Absolutely. bigger. A, is there a foil? There is a foil, which is. Oh, this is like the. Um, oh, there was a card. Let's find a cursed idol. So yeah, it destroys target enchantment. It, it destroys an artifact, it destroys enchantment, and it can venture into them. So it makes it playable main deck. Yes. In a lot of decks. It is cool. a sorcery. And then show us the forest, my dear. Show us the forest. It's got flavor text, love. which I love. So a bit of flavor text. I love it. I imagine it's from D and D, and then a Wolfie token. Wolf token. Do we have a dungeon? No, okay. dungeon, dungeon. My turn. Another look. fifteen. Card booster. I like that. I like that fairy deck. That's cool. All right. So we have a deadly dispute. We have a priest of ancient law. We have a shocking grasp. <gasps> I'm shocked. Mm. Price of loyalty. Nice threaten effect. Scaled herbalist. There's a druid. You can put a land, uh, a tap, put a land in your hand in the battle. That's good. That's, that's, that's solid. Face reversal. We'll Times one conquered card from the graveyard to your hand. And and enter the dungeon. We have a gnoll hunter. Ah, oh, it's a bear with upside. Very good. You're ambushed on the road. Uh, oh, uh, we've all been there. Make a retreat. Return target creature control to another hand or stand and fight. Oh, that's. So a Borea Pegasus. Oh, dice Ordling, rolling. Horror dice rolling is a ah, thing. We love a bit of dice rolling. And treasure. Lots of treasure in this. Lots of treasure. Oh, it makes sense. What was this? A, a dragon bard. Bard. Oh. That's what I was saying. Bard is a creature type. Lots of coins to your Richard. <laughs> we have a dungeon map. Oh. Yeah, there you go. Oh, you can just go into the... Oh! I love this guy! Oh! Minsk, beloved ranger. It is a red, green, and a white for a legendary guy. creature, human ranger. It is a 3-3. Three, three. When it enters the battlefield, create Boo, a legendary 1-1 one, one red hamster creature token with trample and haste. Yeah, pay X. Until the end of turn, target creature control has base power and toughness X, X, and becomes a giant addition to its other types. X fake owners is sorcery. So there is a story about this. I was I read I was reading uh, Shivam um, mm. on Twitter, mm. and apparently, so this guy is not all that, you know, he's had a bonk in D D <laughs> lore. So okay. he genuinely thinks that this hamster is actually like a giant hamster. So when he throw, when he it's like it's like I feel like it's a Pokemon. It's like you know make yeah. it make it attack. But in his mind, he thinks this thing is huge and it's tiny. But, Very cool. So I love it. And then we have a mountain. I love the mountain. Oh, the spider. spider. Oh, menace and Very cool. Very exciting. Awesome. One more draft booster each. Oh, charm sleep. Bit of sleep. Armory um, veteran. Oh, when it's equipped, it has menace. Oh, that's quite good. Two two for upside. There we go. Horde robber. So much. Oh, oh Q wounds. wounds. Oh, there you go. There you Q go. wounds. Q wounds is two life. I like. I like the fact that that's two. Yeah, that tracks. That tracks. Oh, whenever you do. Oh, the, um, what's this effect? Uh, you have to apply a draw card. Uh, what's that effect called? Uh, it's a. It's a it was on a, a curiosity. Curiosity. That's it. So, dire wolf. Dire wolf prowler. Oh, Ooh, we have our first. We have a mimic. We have a mimic. Get in the mimic. It's very cool. Okay. Ooh, oh, I don't think we have another one, but yeah, cool. Yes. Keep going. You find the villain's lair. Yeah, that's good. Blink dog. Blink dog. Oh, Grim Wanderer. Ooh, hoo, hoo, we got two. So we got Loathsome Troll. And we have Mind Flare. Oh, God, yeah, this is. Oh, these I are both. I hate a Mind Flare. Okay, well, put all this. Mind Flayers suck if you've ever played DD. If you okay. haven't, take my. Take my okay, let's look at both of these. Let's look at the Mind Flare. Three, three blue blue for a creature horror is a. Th Dominate monster. When mind player enters the battlefield, gain control of target creature for as long as you control mind it's player. There's a mind control. There's a mind control. On a on a on a on it's a, a, a very three. pretty free three. It's very good. And then this loathsome troll is three and a green roller d20. If it's in your graveyard. There's a six two. May I? It's a six two, but it's in your graveyard. Daniel, you only, love it. Oh, okay. Put it on top of your library. Put it your hand. Natural nat twenty. Uh, the battlefield tapped. You know what? You play that. I know you. You yeah. love you love cards like this. And then an island. With flavour text. Some, with some and then an angel. And then an angel. Oh, it's quite it. a cute angel, actually. Alright, so right. now time for my last draft boosty. Draft boosty. Alright, let's have a look. Um, the, I do like the rules. Planar ally. 
The rules, uh, cult um, elemental. Swarming what? goblins. Inspiring bard. Actually, question. What's that? How do you think dice rolling is going to be in limited? Um. Because I play, I play arena, and I do like limited on arena, but. I, I think on arena it'll be fine. You'll just, it'll just roll just the dice like, for But you. just generally in limited though. Um, well, we've had it in the unset and it worked pretty well. I'm assuming that's kind of what gave them the go-ahead to do this. Like the last unset had it in. Like Rhyme Shed, Frost Giant, we have a Spare Dagger. We have a You See a Guard Approach. I do like the sort of <laughs> You come to the Null Camp. Yeah. 50-50 around? With, with, with 50, hold on. There's a, There's a story here. You, you see, see a Guard Approach. You come to the Null Camp. With 50, 50 feet, feet of, of rope. rope. You rally a manoeuvre. <laughs> With an eccentric with an approach. An eccentric approach. <laughs> oh! Ooh. I haven't Ooh. seen this one yet. This is, this is, on, this is the arena Ellie Wick, special. Ellie Wick tumble stream. Two, blue, two green green for legendary creature, Ellie Wick, uh, legendary planeswalker, Ellie Wick. With four starting loyalty. Four mana, four, four mana, four Plus loyalty. one, venture into the dungeon. That's uh, not bad. Enter the first room, advance to the next room. Or, uh, enter the first room, advance to the next room. Minus two, look at the top six cards of your library. You, you may reveal a creature card from among them, put it into your hand. If it's legendary, you gain three life. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. That's fine. Minus seven, you get an emblem with creatures you control, have trample and haste, and get plus two plus two for each differently named dungeon you've completed. Ooh. So. Overrunning emblems are always good, and. Plus so, <laughs> in so the I think I would I mean this is great in like in draft or whatever like venturing into a dungeon you just get value on the side yeah. and finding Which creatures. Is, this does it, yeah. Yeah, and then the minus seven is good. I mean, if you if you you know. You're gonna plus the minus seven wins you the game. The the plus one will get you through the dungeon because you can do. I don't know. We have some of the dungeons. You can by the time this ultimates, you can do tomb of annihilation. So you just plus it three times, get through tomb of annihilation, then you can minus seven it. That's true. Because you always have access to the to these. for each different named dungeon. Completely. So at base level, yeah. it's what was it? Plus two. Plus two. Having an emblem that gives for super stew, trample, and haste. Yeah, that's fine. That's a base level. Good. That's very and good. And you can get multiple of them. Yeah. So sweet. Ooh, so Ellie that Wick's was. I like Eliwick. Eliwick is the um, the arena. Not special. Um, very good. When you buy the packs. Uh, the bundle thing. The bundle very things. Cool. All right, so we're moving on to. Set booster. Set this booster. is actually for cracking. Right. We have. I'm conscious we only cracked two draft boosters, so, you know. Limited players, it's okay. We've only we've only done two. So, ooh, art card. Very art cool. card for. Ooh, what's this on the? Ooh, back? that's sweet. The fact it comes with the monster manual rules for them. That's oh, pretty cool. Oh, that's kind of cool. I didn't notice that. Cool. All right. Sorry, do you want to come in and just yes. hold the cards there? There we go. Okay. So Have planes. Oh, this is the rules book for Baleful Beholder. Uh, each point attack is a and creature called him Menace. Oh, that's fine. Okay. We've got this dungeon uh, going. Dundra. A secret, secret door. door. The secret. secret door. Bar the gate. Oh, this is a this is the uncommon legendary. Um, Trellis. Oh, I'm going to say Trellisara. I'm going to say Trellis. Just commit. Trellisara Moon Dancer is definitely the way to pronounce dancer. it. A moon Dancer. Whenever you gain life, put a plus one plus one counter on Trellisara Moon Dancer and scry one. Okay. Very good. That's not bad. Uh, Lurking Roper. Um, the first thing that stuck, that sticks out to me this card is the flavour text ends in ah! You see stalactites grow down from the ceiling while stalactites went ah! Okay, fine, yes. yeah. That's kind of good. Rally Maneuver, we're seeing this card. Um, yep. Priest of Ancient Law. Air Cult Element. Ooh! We have a Varys Silvery Moon Ranger. So she's a human elf ranger. Reach Ward 1. When you cast a creature or planeswalker spell, venture into the dungeon. This ability only triggers once each turning. I was about to say that would be pretty busted. Whenever you create a dungeon, create a 2 2 green wall. Okay. Good. But it's a free, free okay. I mean, a free free with reach and ward one. I'll take it already. Yeah. That'd be with very upside. good. Oh. With upside. Right, give me. And then improvised. Improvised referee deals two damage to any target, create a treasure token. Okay, well, it's two. Very good. I'll, right. ta I'll take that for the minute. And then the treasures are very fancy. Ooh. Right. So see, much treasure. I, I want to see more of the art cards now. I know that they have the, monster the, the, manual. Cool, the cool rules on the back. All right, let's see what you're... Oh, another... we've got a dungeon. Okay. We have an art card for a bullet. A bullet. All right. Bullet. We have a forest. Oh, this have... is... Oh, Golgari, Daniel Shezra, Hager. Death's Whisperer, Tuna Golgari, 1 3 
human elf warlock, Bewitching Whisperers. So when it ends the battlefield, target creature blocks this turn if able. At the beginning of your end step, if a creature died this turn, you may pay two life if you do draw a card. That's, this is very you card, Daniel. I like the fact that you can pay two life, draw a card if a creature dies. That seems yeah. pretty good. You love Marin, that kind of stuff. Marin, anyone? Mordekind's pulling off again. Hey, oh, we saw this card from we yesterday. We saw this on the, yeah. Well, yes, I'm assuming yes, it was for us yesterday. Yes, uh, kayfabe yesterday. Kayfabe yesterday. Uh, jade, uh, jaded Cell Sword. Oh, ah, this is there's the... there's the other art for Shizra. Oh, she's very, she's very pretty. Power Word Kill. Well, hello. Destroy target non-angel, non-demon, non-devil, non-dragon -dra creature. So I think in this set, that's that's still good. In a lot of sets, it's probably... Yeah. In a lot of sets, it's still good. It's like the... There was a card I like in Innistra where it was like non-war... Um, yeah, non werewolf, non vampire, that kind of one. Yeah, yeah. No, it's probably it's probably quite good. It definitely kills a four mana two oh, two. Is, hold on, a hold tiefling on. cleric, a death priest of Merkel. That's crap oh, gone. Got, Clever a... conjurer, herald of Hadar, and well, why not a second Eliwick, Eliwick Tumblestrom, anyone? And then our rare, oh, sorry, our foil is a gelatinous cube. It's a rare. It is a rare. It's, it's a foil rare. It's a foil rare. Engulf when Jethlin's Cube enters the battlefield, exile target non oozed creature and opponent controls until Jethlin's Cube leaves the battlefield. X and a black target. Put target creature card with mana X, uh, with, with mana value X, exiled with Jethlin's Cube into its owner's graveyard. I like that. That's cool. And then we have a dungeon, Tomb of Annihilation. That's you, fun. Do you have another? You had some, you had some good, uh, yeah. you had some good cards. Jethlin's Cube is. We love a gelatinous... Well, I don't love a gelatinous cube, but... Okay. Oh, oh my god, I've just seen what... what okay. Goblin javelin here! Look at his little face! Oh, it's beholders. We've come to a river. <laughs> the warming was. Oh, was in the set looks nice. Oh, this card with the... There's a there's a planeswalker that gets this guy. Monk of the open hand. Very yes. cool. Right, Ray of enfeeblement. Oh, this is the um, classes. I quite like... I've, I quite like Good these. Range. Yeah. Yeah, so you, it's kind of Some stayed there. New enchantment there. cards. It's yeah. always good. Dawnbringer cleric, keen. Oh, keen-eyed sentry. You have hexproof. Each opponent can't venture into a dungeon more than once ah, each turn. It's like a hate bear for dungeons. I love it. And then Party oh, pooper. oh, this card. This card got lots of uh, lots of people talking when it first got previewed. I'm assuming that's a format. I, uh, is it for a format I don't play that much of? Well, yes and no. Interesting. What, why? What is because it doing? Because you can... It's... Uh, so, well, fast as Oracle, firstly. Okay, I like that. Oh, then, okay, yes. It's good and then it. for more eternal formats, you can do some funny stuff. And then a white dragon. Oh, and then a white dragon. Oh, a little white dragon. That's a very nice art. That's right. very nice art. When it's the battlefield, tap target, which opponent controls, that creature doesn't untap during some toilets next untap step. Ah, and we and have a card from the list. Ooh, from a, uh, uh, Eldritch ah, Moon. that one. Uh, and the Failure Academy. If an opponent, if Very ability, cool. spell ability opponent control creature to discard a card, you may reveal that card, put it on top of your library. Kind Very of cool. weirdly relevant. I like the list. Right, I have one more, but importantly, I think I have to see if it's coming. Meow. Oh. Cat's been meowing. You guys, I'm sorry, guys. She's coming in. All right. Last set booster. Last set. We've got some good cards. Two Eliwicks. I'm on a roll. What you are on a roll with right. Eliwicks. Oh. What's the, this is. We have some treasure. I think this is. The whole rubber. rubber. I saw that. I saw that. Right, we have a foil forest. <gasps> we have an under dark basilisk. I really like this artwork. Yeah, it's awesome. Direwolf prowler. <laughs> you hear something on what? I literally love the D and D circle thing. of the moon druid. Oh, well, uh, oh. Goblin morning star. Oh, I like that. Battle cry goblin. So many goblins. Yeah, I do like the goblins. Actually. I do like. You see a pair you of goblins. See a pair of goblins. Oh no, there's another. Okay. Oh thank God. What's this one do? Reaper's talisman. Oh, that's good. Guard Thief. Ooh, and our rare is Guardian of Faith. We have uh, one white white for a Flash Vigilance 3-2 Spirit Knight. When it ends the battlefield, any number of other target creatures you control phase out. Oh, so it saves you from a... Oh, sa save the troops. saves them from a board wipe. That's quite good. Ah, ooh, oh. I'll definitely give that a try and commander, I think. Uh -huh. We have a Foil Owlbear and then a treasure token. All right. Oh, now I'm ready. All right, we're getting into... The Spice Malone. For anyone who <laughs> remembered that reference <laughs> of the Spice Melange. All right, ladies first, take your two. There we go. I'm not gonna lie, the beholders are ugly. In a sort of a weird Don't you way. Like a beholder? Shocking grasp. <gasps> I think I did that before. Precipitous drop, Paladin shield, 
weaponry, yeah. an iron golem. Iron golem, a moon blessed cleric. Uh, you may search your library for an enchantment card, reveal it, then shuffle and put that library on top. That's not bad. An yeah. island. Oh, a ranger. I do like these. Oh, what's this one? So this we is. has a ride, the avalanche. There's a simic for an instant. Uh, the next spell you cast this turn can be cast as though it had flash. When you cast your next spell this turn, put X plus one counters on it, on, on top of which where X is the value man of that spell. A flash kind of effect, which doubles the amount of counters. I'll take it. That seems pretty good. Seems pretty good. Right. Okay. Then right. we have the four sworn paladin. So one one with menace. Pay one life, crochet treasure token. And target creature gets plus two, plus two. And if it's from treasure, it, that creature also gets death touch. Mm, okay. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, another Baleful Beholder. Ooh, I've seen the next card. Yes. This looks silly, but I love it. We this. have a... <laughs> this! I want every evolving world I ever own to be this now. This kobold. I love kobolds. Oh, crib. Oh, minion, crib. Of, minion of the Mighty. Uh, it is a red for a 0-1 kobold with menace. Pack tactics. Whenever minion of the Mighty attacks, if you attack with a creature with total power... Six or greater this combat, you may put a creatures, dragon... Creatures, not creatures. creatures. You may put a dragon creature card from among them, from your hand, tapped and attacking. Ooh, I quite like that. So yeah, it's like the goblin... Mm -hmm. It's like the, the goblin version, but you're just any creature. Yeah. Okay. And, and then, then we have... Another one. Are the arts different? No, they are different. Oh. No, they, uh, they have a different Dust Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, this is yellow. This is interesting. I think this is foil. Or like some forge foil. Oh yeah, I think that's an etched foiling. Oh, very nice. Very cool. And then a full art teleportation circle, wow. which I already know one of my friends who plays Brogo in Commander will want. And then another treasure. Very cool. These, I like that kobold. The kobold's very sweet. The kobold's very sweet. You literally have like a couple of tokens six, six, and then you got right. bam. Put a right. dragon in. Is the list, is the list, they're not on the list in the click to be no, just, no, it's just fancy right. schmancies. So we have a foil dragon's fire. We have Mordecai's polymorph. Joblin Gavin, Goblin Javanir. Job, Joblin Gavin. You hear something on watch. It is a prosperous innkeeper. Oh. He wild shapes into an island. I do like, I do like wild shape. I'm I, glad I, I think that's a cool card. I used to have that there was an artifact back in the day which you could change its. its yeah, I'm glad. Turn. On the island is a hobgoblin bandit lord. What does this do? Other goblins you control get plus one plus one. Okay, so it's a rogue uh, lord. Bread and tap, Goblin band, Bandit Lord gives damage, e deals damage equal to the number of goblins you get into the battlefield under your control, the under your control this turn to any target. That's pretty, mm, that's pretty good. That's good. We have a Radiant Solo. Ooh, this is another commander card. Five and a white for a creature angel is a 3 6 with flying and lifelink. When it or another non turn creature enters the battlefield under your control, venture into the dungeon and you can pay white, discard it, venture into the dungeon, and you gain three life. That's good. I like the. Oh, we got another. Full art. Hot Goblin Bandit, Bandit Lord. Have a jo uh, goblin javelinier, rim shield frost giant. We have a hall of stone giants in that awesome art. It's a, such awesome art. If you uh, land, if you control two more of the lands, hall of the storm giants into the battlefield tap. I think that's the lands Add condition. Add a blue mm, yes. and five and a blue. In turn, turn hall of the storm giants becomes a seven seven bloody hell, blue giant creature to a creature with ward three. It's still a land. That's oh, really? huge. We have a foily owl bear. And, and then, ooh, we have Asmodeus the Archfiend. We oh. saw this while playing the uh, launch game yesterday. Um, this is a very silly card. Four black you black for a six six legendary creature, Devil God. If you would draw a card, exile the top card of your library instead. Black black black, draw seven cards. And then for a single black, return all cards, exile with Asmodeus for the Archfiend to their owner's hand, and you lose that much life. You you are literally going to build this. This could be a spicy one. And then we have another little dungeon. -y. Oh, oh, it's a foil dungeon though. Yeah, and then the actual, we still don't know what that. I might get the sleeve for this one. Let's get yes, sleeve. let's get the sleeve. I might get a sleeve for that one. All right. All, All right, right final, down. final. Yep. All right, go on, in you go. Sepulchre Ghoul. Kicking the door. Sorry, this. Ah. Oh, this is the, uh, this is the removal of the set. Um, <laughs> what is this? Minus 11, minus 11. Mm, this, that, 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 that happens when you look in the eye of the beholder, my oh. Red dragon. Red dragon. Guild thief, a foret. Ah, oh, toss a coin to your witches. Do you want to get us demonetized? We don't have <laughs> monetization yet on the channel, <laughs> but we will, and if we were. Okay, what does it do? Beginning of your upkeep, you may put a harmony count, harmony, uh, on instrument of bards. Search your library for a creature card with mana value equal to a number of harmony counters, uh, revealing put in your hand. 
If the card is legendary, create a treasure token, then shuffle. Isn't this uh, Yisan the one? Yisan, who... yeah. Well, he's a bard. He's he a bard. bard. Right. Dance mm -hmm. macabre. Ooh, this is a uh, five mana. So it's a sorcery. Each player sacrifices a non token creature. Roll d20 and add the toughness of the creature you sacrificed this way. 1 to 14, return a creature card, put into a graveyard this way to the battlefield under your control. And then 15 plus two creature. This is a very new card. Mm, very cool. Well, right, what do you have? Meteor Swarm. In the full arts treatment, which damage. I love this. Yeah, that looks awesome. That's so awesome. There's eight damage to everything. Never Winter Dryer. This is the, what was it, Muscle Burst card. Yeah, the Muscle Burst card. Diligent Farmhand. But it's hard. better. Okay. And, mm, Hulking love. Bugbear. Uh, so three mana, three three of haste. I'll take it. It's a pretty solid limited card. And then a Dragon Turtle. It's got Flash. Three five with Flash. Uh, it's tap, you tap it and up to another, uh, I'm sorry. Tap it and up to one target creature. They don't untap. Opponent controls, yeah. But it's flash, it's fine. You just yeah, that's pretty good. That's it's a three mana, three five. Yeah. What else you have? And then we've got a. Well, it dies into a dungeon. Clattering, clattering skeleton. And then we have Nadar, selfless paladin. Oh, in the, whenever. Oh, another sleeve, you said. Another sleeve. So whenever <laughs> Nadar, selfless paladin, enter the battle or attacks, venture into a dungeon. Other, you can, other creatures you control get plus one, plus one, as long as you complete a dungeon. Ooh, that's kind of cool. That's cool. And it, it's a dragon. It's a dragon knight. We haven't seen that before. I've not seen a dragon knight. Very and cool. then we have... Um, we have Just to uh, prove I do sleeve them. Yep. <coughs> and then we've got a spider, and then an emblem for uh, Zariel, Archduke of Avernus, which we've not seen yet. <laughs> but at the beginning of your first combat main phase, untap target creature you control. After this phase... Additional combat base. Mm, cool. You know, I like that coach kind of cards. Vroom, yes. vroom. Zoom, zoom. All right. Last, last pack, pack for today. For today. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. It's been a pleasure to hang out with you and open some packs. This is what... This is what magic's all about. And the game part as well. Yes. So we have Planar Ally. Circle of the Moon Druid. Boots of Speed. Speed! Uh, Dijin, Dijini Windseer, another D20 Matters card. Battlecry Goblin. Goblin's Matters. Reaper's matter. Talisman. We have a Plains. Ooh. We have a Volo Guide to Monsters. Oh, no, no, no. This is a, this is a legendary creature. Yeah. I don't mean to look at this. Volo Guide to Monsters is two green blue for a legendary creature, human wizard, and is a 3 2. Whenever you cast a creature spell that doesn't share a creature type with a creature you control or a creature card in your graveyard, copy that spell. Mm. Clones, anyone? All right. Clones. We have. A Revitify, a Revivify, a Revivify. Revify. Revify, thank you very much. We have a Teleportation Circle. It's a good card. We have an Owl Bear. Tell me Owl. We have a Cloister Gargoyle. We have a Emir uh, Lemiriath? Emiriath Desert Doom. Three blue blue for a legendary creature, a dragon. It is a Fi Fi with flying. Uh, it has Ward 4 as long as it's untapped. And when it deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. Then if you had fewer fewer than the three cards in your hand, draw cards equal to the difference. We what do you mean, draw the difference of what? If, if, if that one card is the only card in your hand, you then draw up, up to three. Oh, that's good. We have Clattering we've got so Skeletons. Many, we've got so many Clattering Skeletons. And then we have Adult Gold Dragon. That's very pretty. Five mana. That looks awesome. That is so awesome. It's like an etched... F five mana Flying Lifelink Haste. I, I now, love it. I now want to make Boris in one of my cubes dragons because that looks awesome. That is so awesome. Sweet. That was a we good... We still haven't found what this makes. We'll be looking that up straight away afterwards. But thank you very much for watching, everyone. Uh, much love. Uh, again, thank you to Wizards of the Coast uh, Europe for sending us these awesome packs for us to open for your entertainment. And again, thank you to the wife. You've uh, got two deck techs potentially out of those? Oh, yes, definitely. Yeah, we're building some... That, uh, there's a lot of cool things with this set uh, and a lot of good things coming on the channel. So do please like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Until next time, we'll see you all soon. Bye. Goodbye.